Doctor, we're here at the Health Freedom Expo. Uh, and you're very outspoken on, on cancer and cancer cures. Can you talk about some of the backlash that you've received for being so outspoken and what some about people tried? five to seven <clears throat> death threats a day are normal. That's the average. I've been shot at. My car has been bombed. And um, see, my book, The Only Answer to Cancer, by now has sold over one million times mm -hmm. uh, in 21 months in the eighth edition. And I'm not in one best selling list. <laughs> if you sell 25,000 books, you are in the New York Times best selling list. I sold a million. I'm not in one. So if you talk about backlash. <laughs> so, but I have 19 best-selling books out there. 57 million books have been sold. Mm -hmm. And my videos, just the YouTube videos, are already watched about 50 to 60 million times. My TV station, uh, the test site is Dr. Coldwell, opinion.tv. If you want to just look it up. And uh, uh, it's a test set for my TV station. It goes live in three weeks. And uh, we are educating people and helping people to cure themselves. And we have to pay the price for that. Whenever we ask for a building permit, strangely enough, it takes about 10 times longer to get one <laughs> than for anybody else. And uh, when I go to an airport, you don't want to be me. And you don't want to look in my suitcase after it comes back, after it's been through uh, Homeland Security or TSA. <laughs> and uh, you learn to live with it and just laugh about it. And um, we already started now sending suitcases ahead so that they don't know it's from me by sending it with a mail so that my, my, my stuff is already here sure. when I arrive. And you just start laughing about it because life is too short mm -hmm. to let them really get into a bad mood. Mm -hmm. Then. I meet people like you, nice people like you, that make a difference. They're working hard, they're educating people. And see, that makes it all worth it because we are all in the same battle, just from a different angle. Mm -hmm. And if we are not sticking together, see, success is always a result of effective team play. If we are alone, no one of us, see, if you wouldn't do the interviews you do, we wouldn't be out there with the information. I just on, on a minor channel, I just saw on one website somebody that just downloaded our last interview and they already have 124,000 views mm -hmm. on, just on their own side of it. So, see, you reach people, you do something. At the end of the day, you do what I do just on a different angle. Because if it wouldn't be people like you out there, nobody would know about us or what we are doing. And we are all in it together and if we are not winning within the next two years it will be over because they are going to implement treaties and laws that will make it impossible to be healthy to stay healthy and to survive mm -hmm. there will be mandatory vaccination and more and more chemtrails where they spray mainly aluminum and the deadly fungus that eats our nutrition and um, the population control is working really well they make everybody uh, infertile now by the uh, body scanners in the airports the full body scanners they make you blind, they turn you blind because they give you cataracts and they give you cancer and they destroy your reproductive capabilities. And um, so it's uh, working really well for them right now. I mean, they're killing off uh, their own TSA agents because the people that work there directly at the machines have an 800% higher cancer mm -hmm. rate than anybody else. So, but they really don't care. There's enough blind people out there that are willing to do for money, whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. they get paid for but see you and I we are not we are still talking but the repercussions are a lot I have to be very careful to protect my own family mm -hmm. I don't present my wife in public and uh, uh, my family in general and we have to be very very careful but nothing except the 45 bullet in my head will stop me from doing mm -hmm. what I'm doing